Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the Las Vegas local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is the third installment of my Now What series, which answers questions that beginning musicians all have to face. If you haven't seen the first two episodes in the series, I'd advise you check them out after this video. As the title says, this one's about what to do now that you've finally landed the first gig. This will be many people's first exposure to your band's music, so it's important that certain things are in place to ensure putting your best foot forward. So ring the bell, kiddos. Class is in session, and I'm here to school ya. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. Once the excitement wears off of getting the gig, some things need to be considered for success. These include Does everyone have transportation to and from the gig? You'd be surprised how often this derails some band's gigs. At this stage, you're probably not making a lot of money from this first gig, so try not to waste money on a taxi or ride service. Which leads to tip number two. If you're carpooling to the gig, practice loading and unloading with the gear you're taking so things go smoothly at the gig. Remember, Heavy stuff should be the first things unloaded so you're not trying to drag it out of the middle of your vehicle. Will sound be provided by your band or the venue? If the venue is providing it, will you be responsible for mixing the sound yourselves? Or is there a sound person? Don't wait to find out on gig night because nine times out of 10, you are not going to like the answer you get. If you can manage to convince some people to come to the show, consider asking them to film it and send it to you later for review. These first gigs are going to be a blur anyway, so seeing and hearing what the crowd sees and hears will be invaluable to making changes you deem fit. And there will be changes. Promote, promote, promote. This first gig is a great chance to build some promotional habits. Don't be afraid to invite people you only know online. I've made some great friends off of social media invites that resulted in them dropping by and checking out the band. Check out joining online groups that cover your local scene as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and it was useful information. The next video in this series will be covering that moment when your band can afford to buy new gear. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and click the bell to be notified when new videos get posted. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. Remember to be amazing. Consider clicking one of the links down below to uh, support the channel. And we'll see you next time in room six.